hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of watching my video please hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to press the notification bell also so today i have a message for some of our ladies out there listen and listen good my beautiful ladies out there especially if you have had a heart broken in your past. But looking forward to settle down seems to be very difficult for you. Sometimes you say to yourself, you don't even want any man in your life again. Sometimes you say to yourself, you prefer just being on your own without getting married again. My dear, please listen to this advice very well and very carefully. If you find a man that can take a good care of you, that can take you for who you are, please find it in your heart to give it a try. Don't use your previous relationship or your previous marriage to think every man out there are all the same. No. All men are not the same. There are good ones. There are bad ones. Just likewise the way it is. In the aspect of the women too. So don't because of your past life, your past experience, because you have been odds, you want to be living a lonely life. My ladies out there, think about this. Having someone around you, keeping you busy, having somebody to talk to, it means so much thing in your life. Trust me. I am not just saying it because I want to say something. For example, when you are being worried and you don't have someone that will comfort you, you don't have someone that you will always tell your plan to, you don't have somebody beside you that you will have to plan things together. Imagine how are you going to feel happy when you are just doing everything all alone? Sometimes, most of we ladies always get it wrong. Using the past, previous relationship to be thinking everybody at the same. The first relationship or the first marriage which you have been into before, it might not be good for you. But that does not guarantee the future of the person you are going to meet tomorrow. That that man is still going to be as wicked as the previous one which you have left. Imagine that man in your life that you've left is already married. He don't even have time of evil thinking about you. He's feeling happy. With the new woman, which he chose to marry now. But for you, you don't want to look for something that will give you your happiness. You just decide you want to be living a lonely life. My beautiful lady, think it twice. That decision you want to make now, by saying to yourself, you want to live alone, is not going to help you. Even though you don't want to have another kid anymore, maybe you have few kids for your previous man and you don't want a situation when you get married to somebody else again, the person will tell you, oh, I want a children from you. If it's in that case, before you go into any relationship, it has to be an agreement between you and that man. Yes, 
let him understand that you are going into this relationship now. You are not ready to start having children again. That the one you have now is enough for you. If he's interested, then you go ahead with him. If you think he's the type of a man, we should think it will be better for you. But before you go into it, watch the man. Look at him very well. If he's a man that really have that love. If he's a man that will always kind of be there for you. If he's a man that will always put you as your first priority. But you must not want him for sure. When you have a children before as a woman, don't even bother to date a man or a guy who don't have kids before. You must go with the one that maybe if you are once a married man, maybe he's no longer with his wife anymore and he's looking for somebody else to settle down. You know, look for somebody that is a little bit advanced. Those are only the type of man that will respect you, that will take good care of your children with you. Because after all, maybe he's already divorced. He's not, he's not with his wife anymore. So he's looking for a woman that will seek comfort in. So in that way, yes, the both of you can match up together. But don't say, okay, because I'm telling you now that, oh, look for somebody to choose to spend the rest of your life with for you to go and hook up with a married man. No way. You can't leave your marriage your previous marriage, which you know you have be been out from, either by the man shitting on you, or by the way the man we are maltreating you, and now you want to jump into another man's life, and you know that this man is married. Please, if he's in that case, don't go there at all. Don't let any married man to deceive you. Once you know that man is married, even though he promised you heaven and earth, is a no-go area. Because at the end of the day, the experience you are going to get with this so-called man who try to deceive you, to tell you that, oh, it doesn't matter, even though he's married or not, he can take a good care of you. He can take a good care of your children. Don't go there. Honestly, because there is no way that you as a woman, you will feel happy seeing your husband having an affair with another woman out there. So why will you as a woman want to be the person that wants to destroy another fellow, a fellow woman like you? Oh, that would not be nice. And when you take that chance, you will find yourself to blame. Trust me, where you will be coming from, the previous marriage, which you said it was not good enough for you, it will even be better than the one you want to take a chance to go into. Don't date a married man. Don't ever date a married man. If he's a divorcee, fine. You must see the proof that, yes, he's no longer with his wife anymore. And don't just make yourself so cheap for that man. Let the man know the type of a woman you are. Make him to understand that you are a woman that will not accept nonsense. But at the same time, you will still have to respect him. Despite all those policies you are going to give to him by letting him know that, no, you have had a tough relationship, a tough marriage previously. You don't want any man to hurt you again. But you must know one thing. Before any man will see kind of respect you as a woman, before he will give you love, you must also show him a respect. So what am I trying to say here now, my ladies? Please look for somebody to spend the rest of your life with. If the first marriage you went through is not working you don't have to put yourself 
in one place. Okay, fair enough. If your kids are still very little, yes, take good care of them first. Let them grow up to a certain stage. Then you can go into a serious relationship if that is what you want. And at the same time, please, very please, I'm pleasing you very much. Know the type of a man you want to date. Don't keep changing a different man, bringing a different man into your home, please. So make the decision yourself and try to be happy. Live your life comfortable. Take away your stress. Take away all the worries that is bothering you. But the most important thing, you cannot live your life just like this. Okay? You have to move on. Life is all about moving. You cannot stay in one position. So that is the little advice I have for you, my beautiful ladies out there. Please take the bold step and let things happen, okay? It's good to have a partner beside you. As they always said, two head is better than one. When something happens to you, you will have somebody to lay your head on. When there is nobody there, Nobody to lay your head on. So those are the things that you have to consider before saying that you don't want to get married again. Every man needs a woman, just like the way every woman needs a man. Let's be honest. Having somebody beside you is very good. So you cannot do it all alone. You cannot comfort yourself in every circumstances that come to your life. You need somebody that will have to be beside you. So, if you like this video, thumbs up and drop your comments. And thank you very much. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.